Okay, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, whoever is watching the Farm Chief YouTube channel, the Farmers TV. Of course, I'd like to say how are you to each and everyone who's watching. If it's your first time to watch us or to see us, please subscribe and don't hesitate to click on that notification bell. You'll be easily uh, notified that you have uploaded something new as far as farming is concerned. Today, I'm bringing in another edition of Maisie Farming. Did you know that when you want to, you're targeting maize farming, there are varieties you should plant or you should farm depending on your target. There are those who have targets of grain, uh, grain market, that is maize flour, uh, bran, uh, blocken and everything. And there are those who target for fresh market. That's what we're going to talk about today, uh, still with the one and only Ambrose, the director, Faith Agro, the number one distributors uh, of uh, maize seeds and even other seeds, as we shall talk uh, in this program. My name is Dipatoka Telega, the farm chief here at the Faith Agro Demonstration Farm. Say hi to our viewers afternoon good evening good morning wherever you're watching from this is ambrose faith agro inputs basically faith agro inputs we do a lot of r d research and development on different uh, hybrid seeds today we are here at our demonstration garden at the source of the nile ginger show ground we are all, we are continuing part of our episodes and how to help our growers and farmers be able to improve or be able to adopt different value chains in maize production. Today, our emphasis, we are looking at those farmers who are doing fresh maize, those ones who are doing maize for fresh market, and we shall also have something small for those ones who are doing for silage. And then, but above all, the, our major target is the uh, commercial maize, commercial grain. Now assuming among the varieties where we, we are standing, we have DKC 989 that can be able to give you an average between 3.5 to 4 metric tons per acre. We have DK 777. Ambrose, I'd like you to go slowly by slowly such that these people can understand it very well. Because when you go into calculations, these people they have to be attentive and they have to adopt what you're trying to tell them. Well noted. So, as I was saying, when we are looking at, uh, we need to uh, inform our growers mm. about different or various value chains. Let's say when I want to do, to start maize production, mm. what, who am I producing for? Eh? Mm. We need to have a clear set objective such that when we are growing, we are able to meticulously uh, uh, position what our growers. Meticulously, the, the, the growers must be spot on. Yeah, the, our growers must be spot on, or must be on point. Now, the reason why we are to, we are looking at growers being on point is because of the different market dy dynamics and different market requirements. Mm. Now today, because of urbanization, there is a gap. Between? There, there, is, there is a gap whereby farmers, or urban dwellers need food. Now, maize can be a very good source of food. At the same time, an enhanced income for our farmers. A case in point, when you are growing maize for commercial, for, for fresh market, mm. you are growing it as a hot culture. Before we delve into those uh, sweet corn, baby corn, all that kind of stuff, we, want, we need to begin from here. Mm. So that the grower is able to learn the dynamics. Now when he engage those complicated ventures or projects of sweet corn, uh, baby corn, he knows how maize is growing, grown. So today here, we are trying to look at uh, different categories of maize, maize and allocate it 
different value propositions. Now, when I say, when I, what I mean by value proposition is, along the value chain, where can I position these particular varieties of maize? Now, we have maize for fresh market. Now, maize for fresh market, we are looking at those farmers who, are, who, are, who want to start uh, farming as a business, but they lack capital. Mm. And maize can be a very good source of capital because it is not so much cap as capital intensive as horticulture. But we can borrow the leaf from the horticulture section so that we apply it on the maize so, so, so that a farmer is able to earn more. Let's say, for example, we are talking about one acre. Mm. Now, one You're talking acre, about fresh market? Yes, fresh market, one acre. Now, one acre, uh, when you are doing a spacing of 30 by 90, 90. that means 30 centimeters by 90, 90 centimeters, mm. or one feet, one foot by three feet. Three feet. In a row, plant to plant is one is foot. One, one feet. Then into a row, row Those to row three is three feet. Three feet. Yeah. We put one seed per hole. Per hole yeah. When we are doing two feet by three we put two seeds but the best the best method for those ones who are doing fresh fresh market it is one foot by three feet why is it the best because one you are able to save on the seed then two you are able to give your your, your um, maize an opportunity to grow and establish to it is optimum then number three you're also able to get quality cobs. But remember, the issue of quality cobs is at attained by the variety. Before we, 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 we go on, Ambrose, you have told us if you're looking for fresh market, uh, you plant one feet by three, three feet. feet. But the best way is to plant one feet. I mean, you can also... You can also do two, 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 two feet by, by three, three feet. feet by but three the, feet best, the best is one feet by... I, was, I wanted to ask for those farmers who are watching, if someone plants two per hole, he or she makes two feet by three. Yes, yes. Can't he or she get that productive cob? What happens, eh? chances of getting double cob or chances of this maize, this variety is being prolific by at two, at two seeds are very minimal you realize that only those varieties that are planted on the boundaries of the corner or mm. of the garden are the ones that will bear two, two cobs. But remember, when, when we are doing fresh maize, we are particular about the number of cobs because at the end of the day, you, we are not looking at something like silage where somebody will plant, uh, will, will harvest the entire stock and take away. Mm. Here we are looking at the only cobs, only cobs, mm. and we shall come up with the calculations eh, on how much if a grower he expects from a particular uh, uh, s section. A case in point, let's say when you look at our maize, it has given you two cobs. Mm. Now, for every maize, because we, when you are planting 30 by 90, we have a total plant population of 14,520 plants. Now we assume, because now remember, we are doing it as horticulture, whereby as a farmer, we shall, in, uh, we, shall, we, shall, we shall encourage you to do the scouting to ensure that all the crops are given the maximum attention to ensure that we get results from each and every plant on each and every corner of our garden. So therefore, we shall emphasize, you know, uh, under normal circumstances, a, a farmer's garden has different challenges. You find that this one area is a bit rocky, and the side is a bit fertile. Mm. So for the farmer to balance that, he needs to ensure that he does all the scouting to, to ascertain that ever the, 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 the growing, the, 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 the vigor is uniform. Now, how do we attain the uniform vigor? By doing regular scouting to ensure that 
everything is up to date. So when it comes to feeding program and nutrition program, we shall also highlight that mm. so that a grower is able to know. But right now, the, the, the most important point is, how do I get the 14,520 plants in an acre to be able to give me at, at, least, at least two cobs per plant? Because if it gives you two cobs per plant, that means eh, as, a, as a farmer, you'll be looking at 500 shillings per plant. Now, roughly, when you do 500 shillings uh, per you plant... Mean 500 shillings per plant per cob? Per plant. Because now, as a, a, a farmer is a producer, yeah, is a producer, mm. we want to do the right, the, the right calculations, whereby a plant that will give you two cobs, mm. you need to cost it at 500 shillings. Because the 500 shillings times 14,520, that is close to 7,260,000. In an acre. But are these things possible, Ambrose? Because when we go into calculations, when you, calcul when you calculate, uh, it is seen that it is possible. But farmers out there have tried all this, but they are not gaining that. How do you get them, you as Ambrose? Farmers because we never. farmers, when we try that, we have failed totally farmers. to get such amount from the garden. And that is the reason why we are here today. Yeah? That is the reason why we are here today in this garden. Why we keep on emphasizing. You know, farmers take so many things for granted. Farmers think that after planting and going, I'll go away and come back after three months and harvest. But there are so many things involved. Yeah? Remember... My point is, ensure that you do regular and routine scouting to ensure that all your crops are uniform. That is the only way you will be able to attain the quality that will pay you or reward you the 500 shillings per plant. Okay? So, as growers, growers out there who are, who are watching this thing, these things are very doable. Because... Now, when, when, we go, we, when we go further and refine it, yeah, and then get a, get a horticulture title yeah, attached mm. to it, it means you are going to be meticulous. You are going to be spot on on all the activities that you're supposed to conduct so that at the end of the day, you are able to realize what we are talking about. You know, these things, they don't fall from heaven. Now, when you look at, at this garden from the, f that far corner to the other far end, mm. you realize that the, 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 the maze is uniform. And that is what I'm talking about. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Ambrose. That is the Director Faith Agro uh, Inputs. We are in Jinja at their uh, demonstration garden or demonstration farm. We're talking about a fresh market. And uh, Mr. Ambrose, I'd like you to tell these farmers, those who are watching and those who are willing to start farming, what varieties that are good for fresh market? Fresh market, the first priority variety, number one, is DKC989. DKC989. Why, DKC why, why does it get the first priority? One, it is very quick maturing. Between 75 to 80 days, it is ready for harvesting. 75 to, 75 80, days. to 80 days. Those are two months plus some two other 20 two, days. Two months, two, two months and three weeks, mm. it is ready for harvesting. Now, a case in point, where this garden where we are standing, yeah, this, maize, this, this maize is now 82 days since we planted. And it is, it is ready, it's for, ready for fresh for, market. For, for, it, is, it is even beyond ready for fresh market. That means what we are talking about is real. Why uh, 989 is highly prolific? When I say highly prolific means it is an ardent double cobra. You realize in one of our, dem in our, in, in our garden, most of the, the, the plants have given us three cobs. Three? So that, yes, three cobs per one. Let me, I have a question there. Yes, please. Ambrose. Mm. Uh, you know me, I'm a farmer, and I ask always for those farmers mm. in deep regions and those who have tried. Are the cobs you get 
on the plant. Are they of the same size or they also vary? The cobs might vary, but they are equally eh, of value when it comes to fresh market. And that is why we are, we are putting our calculations of at, fi 500. at 500 shillings per plant. Yeah? Hmm. So we, 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 we want to attain a win-win situation. And as much as we don't want to entice the farmers and then yeah, they become eager, yeah, but, but the process is what matters. But bottom line, DK1989 is well researched yeah, and bred to meet all these conditions. Now somebody will take why fresh market? Because it is very sweet. Yeah? And fresh, fresh and sweetness are synonymous. Yeah? They work hand in hand. Two, it is something, it is a variety that can stay sweet, yeah? fresh and sweet for a long period of time. A period of let's say between five to ten days, which is rarely. When harvested? Yes. In the, when harvested and stored, it still be. It is sweet. still fresh and sweet. Okay, so why we are emphasizing because now it is high time we attached value to these varieties of maize so that if, if a farmer is growing it, he knows where to position he, him or herself. So therefore, 989 is the number one variety we normally flag or position for fresh market. Number two, we do position DK777. DKC? DK777. DK777. Now, the reason why we position DK777, it is versatile. It, is, it, is, it has the characteristics of withstanding so many, all broad, so many climatic conditions. It can, disturb, it can uh, withstand minimal moisture stress. It can withstand excessive uh, moisture. For those farmers who are doing in the in the water catchment areas, mm. yeah, it is the ideal variety to plant. So therefore, farmers out there who are watching this clip, farming today is no longer business as usual. Is being spot on, being calculative, and being able to know why am I producing, whom am I producing to, and at what time, and at what rate. But it is upon us, as people who do the, uh, the, the research and development, to ensure that we guide our growers to be at least intentional in whatever they are doing. So therefore today, the reason why we've come here is to demonstrate to you that it is actually doable. Now, probably when we come back, we shall take you through the steps and methods through which you, you're supposed to follow so that you, you, you have a garden as, as charming, as yummy as this one where we are standing. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ambrose, the Director of Faith Agro Inputs. As I told you earlier before that we're in Ginger, uh, their demonstration farm, we've been talking about the fresh market. And he has uh, told us that if you want to, uh, to, 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 to compete on the market, and to gain profits, actually high profits, you have to plant. That is DKC 9089. Not so. And triple seven. Of course, that has been our episode today. Next to that, we shall give you the steps you have to take, of course, to get good habits from these two yields. Thank you.